Good morning, guys. Dylan with XXL Land Services here, and today we are loading dump trucks. Uh, that's truck number two. So we're hauling off this pile. We're also hauling this off. It was all mixed together, so we're taking all that. Out. And then, then the fun pile back there. So basically, the client had the property uh, mulched and then had the guy come through a mulcher um, pile up all the mulchings. Um, and now he wants to haul it off. That's why I'm here. So we got that. That's the easy one. Back here, it's going to be the harder one. Um, it's a lot more material. I quote him four truckloads. That was truck two. And the first pile still there. So, so I'm thinking more than the four truckloads. I'm thinking closer to seven. But he said he's fine with his little extra. Um, already went through and separated the uh, cedar from it. This is all pretty much just pure mulching. So it's not heavy, it's just a lot of high volume stuff. The problem is the access back here. Um, easiest way would be to come right through here where we have our septic um, tank and, you know, fully loaded semi next to septic tanks aren't the best. It can be done, but then I'd have to cut down this oak tree and the client's not here at the current juncture for me to ask him that. I'm sure he'd be okay with it if I send him a few photos, but I think I have another solution. Now we're on the other side of the yard. Luckily, the client has not put in a concrete driveway just yet. There's a little pad by the house, but this is all still just you know, road base pretty much. So most likely I uh, had to cut the fence open because that wasn't gonna be a big deal. I'll fix it when I'm done, but have him come through there, come through here, I might, I should be fine. Come come through here. Now, well, I'm gonna shoot over this way, but they're gonna hit the trees over here. So, best option would have been right through there, but they put a playpen up. So, before the next truck gets back, I'm gonna have to figure out the best way. Um, should I have done this before? Yes, yes, I should have, but. I just neglected to do that part. I think that's our best option if we just trim this up, trim this up, and trim this up. I'm gonna go get with the client right now, talk to him, and see if that's okay. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that is. It's the least amount of damage we'll end up doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then most likely run back to the house, grab the full saw. All right, truck number three is leaving. The uh, that little area we cut worked absolutely perfect. Truck get out of there, no problemo. Husky trucking, great company. Um, so all that's left. That's number three. All that's left over there is just the wood. So one, two, maybe four more loads. So definitely I'm uh, underestimated. Oh, my hair pods are broken. Okay. Or bent. Definitely underestimated this job just a little bit, but it is what it is. I'm not going to charge them anymore for labor just for uh, the dump truck loads. It'll still get done today. I'm quite certain of that. But um, that's why whenever I do quotes, I always put in there a range, you know, four to six loads or four to this. Or I always say approximately because you can only judge this stuff off eye so much. You know, stuff's going to happen. Stuff's going to pop up. Um, I expected this one to be a lot more like that pile. That pile, almost half of it was that wood, which I'm going to haul off myself. Um, this is a lot more of the shavings, only that much wood. I expected probably three times as much as that. So, that's what it is. Um, he's going to probably be back in about an hour. I'm going to go grab lunch. I think that's it. That's it for now. We'll wait for him to come back. The next day. Good morning, that camera lens is dirty. It's uh, day two at this job, and that is my new favorite truck driver. He's been early two days in a row. I got here both, he, he said he'd be here yesterday at eight o'clock. I got here at 7.30, he was here, amazing. Today, I'll be here at eight o'clock. I got here at 7.40, he was already here back to the pile, waiting for me. So, yeah, new favorite truck driver. So, um, all we got left is, this section, that, and that. I'm thinking 
three to four more trucks. And then we're going to talk to the client, they're good with that. And then we got to haul off that brush pile, the brush pile back over there. But that is going to be my brother. He'll be here a little later today to do that. I'm going to leave bring the dump trailer and load him up. So um, I'm just going to push the pile back in, kind of make it one pile. And then um, grease the machine up because I haven't done that in a day and a half. And then just wait for the truck to come back. So I might be getting two trucks today running for me. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully I'm done by one o'clock because I have about 2.30, most likely not gonna happen. So either way, we'll see what happens, but that's a rough plan for today. Problem right now is the dust. So I load the trucks up, and I put it in the dust. It's like a sand, so you can't see nothing. Plus, I'm looking through this foggy plexiglass and the sun's curtain in that direction behind me, which lights the plexiglass up and lights the lights up the dock. That makes it even brighter. Just, that's the biggest struggle is blowing these trucks up right now. Is not that's a real struggle, but the biggest obstacle I have is that. The dust, it just gets everywhere and black visibility. All right, since we got to get this job done today, I called my brother in with the dump trailer. He owes me a couple hours worth of work, so I gave him a company card and uh, he's gonna run trucks for me as well because that pile over there is um, mainly mulch. And the facility we take it to, as long as it's mostly mulch, they'll take it. So I'm gonna load him up with a brush. That's our little hammer up the mulch because where he has to go is only 50, 20 minutes down the road. Where the other guy has to go is about an hour down the road. So running both of them, we'll be able to uh, get this knocked out no problem. So I'm gonna he's gonna back in and we're gonna get him loaded up. So, you know, Friday things were going good. Then uh, the line line broke. So, spewed all over the machine. So, I have to clean that. But, you know, luckily there's a place in town that I'll fix them in five minutes. It'll just take longer for me to take the thing apart. So, basically, what we're going to do is just take this apart, head into town. It's only about five minutes, five, ten minutes away to get it fixed. So, hopefully, we'll have all this fixed uh, by the time our lunch hour is over. I'm also gonna have to go get some hydraulic fluid because Phil's claws are still up. So we're gonna lose. Oh, get the toolbox. We're gonna lose some pressure. There's some fluid. Oh jeez. All right. Well, that stopped. But yeah, basically, that's just gonna drain out. That's. Oh, there goes the other one. All right. Wonderful. Uh, and everything's nice and lubricated, covered in oil. Put that on the tracks. Get a can of spray, cause or, uh, yeah, I'm not thinking right now. Unless you get this hose fixed, then we'll deal with cleaning everything up, making it look pretty. But yeah, basically it was pretty simple. You just take the cover off, unscrew it. Don't do what I did. Don't leave the claws up. Close them, cause then you won't have 
that problem that would have stayed in the machine so now i'm gonna have to probably go get some more oil for it depending how low it is but anyway let's go get this fixed so it's not glad great that that broke obviously but it's good timing when it broke uh i had just finished up loading up my brother and the dump truck so my brother he can wait a little bit that's not a big deal the main thing is not letting that dump truck wait he's a good guy with most of our material and he's the one i'm paying per load um so yeah i got about probably two hours I think it's an hour and a half till that dump truck gets back here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this go drop it off get that fixed and i actually need fuel in the machine so while that's getting fixed stop at the gas station and grab something to eat get that uh some fuel in the transfer tank go pick this up and head back hopefully well i know it won't be because i've broken this line a couple times it won't be as expensive as last time last time i went i had to go replace two um high pressure lines high flow lines and it was uh, eighteen hundred dollars for two lines it was like nine hundred dollars a line it was ridiculous and i wasn't expecting that this should only be maybe 150 bucks maybe um so not that bad but anyway yeah let's go get those fixed off some of the fluid but uh simple as that this is all fixed new hose is on good to go a little more cleaning and we should be getting ready to get started look my brother's already here i'll be able to get him another load all right and just what i thought is about an hour to get that fixed and get fuel and grab lunch it's only like 150 bucks so not bad at all there goes the last load number eight all we got left is that little material right there so i'm going to go ahead and uh Pile all that up. Probably one more load for my brother, and we should be paying to get out of here. So, should be pretty, pretty good rest of the day as long as no more hoses. the material hauled off that is the last load and now we are going to go pick it up all right all finished up uh got the fence put back together not not the best it's just a marvel in it together but they plan on ripping the whole fence off putting a new one in so it doesn't really matter plus the dog doesn't run off so um put back together enough to keep the dog in all that's done all that's left is to load up the skid, and then I have a lot of pressure washing to do, uh, some maintenance. Screw fell off that. That'll be for next week, because now I gotta run into Austin to look at a job. So let's get this loaded up and head off to the next one.